Oh, why, so why, 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 okay. You've turned it round. So while the crusades were going on, there's two verses in the Quran. Right, you're going to let me speak. Split their throats in right, war right, you're and speak. in peace. No, you're going to let me speak. And Islam is in war, war against right, the West. You're going to let me speak. Because you're taking over a decadent society. Right, you're going to let me and you won't answer me. Are right, you going to let me speak? Do you believe we're a decadent society? Are right, you going to let me speak? Yes or no? Don't ask me a series of they questions. They can never give a yes or no. Oh, here we go. Now, now, now you're just lecturing. You can never give a yes or no. Are you no. going to let me speak? Are you going to let me speak? If you answer my question. Don't, don't interrupt me because that's rude. I'm not interrupting you. Have some manners and let me speak. This is called Speaker's Debater's what, Corner. It's not called Fighter's Corner, is it? Eh? It's not called Fighter's Corner. We're not corner. fighting. Yeah, well, manners. You, well, it's only you're, not, you're not showing any manners here. Have some manners. You're a lot older than me and I'm respecting Stop you. Stop dictating and preaching at me. Get on with it. Get on with it. Let me answer the question then. Get on with it. Let me answer the question then. Get on with it. Let me answer the question. Let me answer the question. Get on with it. So history... You're playing for time. History is very important. And the reason not why bad history. History is very important. Not bad history. Well, you learn from bad history as well. I have done. You learn from bad history as well. Done. And I'm going to show you some bad history to learn from now. So while the crusades were going on, while they were holding the Bible in their under their left arm and shooting the gun with their right arm, no, my okay, hold on a second. Why do they keep us? Why did they go to do the Spanish Inquisition? They're not my paradigm. You know why? You know why? They're not my you, you paradigm. Know, the Bible is your paradigm, though, isn't it? Not, not to chop people's necks. Well, what does the Bible say about the uh, the people of uh, the ones that were killed 300 years after for the crimes of their ancestors? Yeah, the Malachites. The Malachites. You can't quote the Bible now, because you don't believe hold on, in it. Hold on a second. Oh, sorry. You, you do. You can't That's quote the paradigm. Bible. That's your paradigm. You don't believe in the Bible. That's your paradigm. Jesus, so, Jesus is my paradigm. So when, so when the Jesus is my paradigm. When the Spanish Inquisition happened, they quoted those same verses. Hold right. on a second, hold on a second. This man is okay. Jesus. Can we have a discussion? I'm you you your Bible. Discussion. Yeah, but you've got about 20 yeah. Muslims around. Nobody's, 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 nobody's harassing you. They've given you a lot of space. They've given you a lot of space. So they justified their actions. I'm on about the Quran today. Not history. So, so the Bible of today is different from the Bible of history. I am talking about the, the Quran today. I'm talking about the Bible today as well. You know, you, you can't quote from it. Well, you don't believe in it. Well, that's true. But, but you don't believe the Quran, do you? I do believe the Quran. You believe it? Oh, you believe it's the word of God. I do believe that you can beat the wise. Oh. oh. I do believe in the Quran that you can wow. chop the next off. I believe what the Quran says. Uh, look, if you're going to be ignorant and rude, I'll show you. They won't have a discussion. Oh, walk away then. No, I won't walk away. Do you believe me if I show you? Can we, can we deal with the argument that you place first? You're skirting. They'll say that's not the Quran. Where does it say that? In the red. I saw you didn't know it. No, I didn't know it. I didn't know it. So when you meet an enemy, when our British soldiers go and meet the enemy in Afghanistan, they don't shoot them and kill them, do they? I'm talking about individuals. <laughs> I'm talking about individuals. What are you talking about? The war situation is nothing to do with Islam or Christianity. I don't understand what your point is, actually, to be fair. Well, try and think a bit more. Well, let me answer your question well, anyway. You try and think a bit more. History is very important. Now, when people, when people talk about the Crusades, there's a continuation of that same tyranny that we see even today. No. Tony Blair is an evangelical Christian, correct? He's not, no, he isn't. He is? He says no, he is. No, he's not. George W. Bush no. is a Christian. No, he's not. They say they are. I believe that's all. They go to the church, they pray. Going to church doesn't mean anything. When George, w. Bush, mean anything. When George w. Bush and Tony Blair met in Camp David, yeah. the man who wrote the book, The Faith of George W. Bush, yeah. even though, by the way, Tony Blair denies yeah. this, yeah. the aides that were present there said in their estimation, there is no doubt that George W. Bush and Tony Blair prayed together before the Gulf War. Anybody, anybody can pray together. It doesn't mean anything. So, and George W. Bush said on record that it was his Christian convictions as to why he had to deal with Iraq. That's his opinion. Yes. And, the, and many soldiers 
and the Air Force, you can go on Google and YouTube, they drew crosses on bombs. They are not my paradigm. They drew crosses on Jesus the bombs. Christ is my paradigm. Let me just finish. They are not my paradigm. Let me just finish. Let me just finish. They drew crosses on bombs while they threw them at civilians in Iraq and in Afghanistan. Now, can you hear what I'm now, saying? Now, Jesus now, Christ now, is there. They are paradigm. Now, let me deal with that. I'm from Iran. As Muslims, as Muslims, we're very what? charitable. I don't think because so. Because we don't accuse Jesus or the Bible or myself, good Christians for those actions. We say. Well, why are you bringing them up? Because we say they are a deviance of the religion. We don't feel that they represent well, Christianity. Well, what I'm saying here is not a deviance. The difference between you, though, and many other haters, no, I don't. is that when people behave badly, you attribute it directly to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Quran, and to Islam. I, you're wrong. I That's the difference between Muslims. I don't Muslims. hate Muslims. That's the I difference hate many us. things that the Quran says. Like what? Like what? Beat your wife. If they don't behave. What's the word used for beat in Arabic? Church. Church. What is the word used for beat? It is not used at all for us. Okay. I'll show you. Do you know? Do you know that in Arabic? Do you know in Arabic that that word that is used has multiple meanings? Are you aware of Here that? Here we go again. That's true though. Twisting it. Twisting it. It's so, about Arabic grammar. That's your Quran. It's about, it. it's about Arabic it. grammar. That's by Muhammad, one of your readers. Are we going to have manners and have a, a discussion? I am doing. No, you're, you're shoving the Quran in my read face. It. I've read it. And I've read scholarship regarding that verse it's as well. It's not true. Did the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, you're not allowed to strike your wife on her face? Well, it's contradicting You're, you're not allowed to bruise her. You're not allowed to cause her any pain what at all. What is saying there? Any pain at all. What therefore, therefore, an intelligent person would look at the Arabic word and the grammar We're in England. and they would apply that in the context of the knowledge no. of Islam. Yeah. But if you're which, like yourself... Which means that you twist if, everything. If you're, if you're like yourself, this man twists what everything. you will do is you will look for the translation that fits your... No, it's your Quran! That, that, that fits your Good. predisposition your Quran. about Islam. It's your Quran. But the reality is... Are you denying is, your Quran? That's in English. It's not Quran. Oh, so it can't be read in English. That's translation of the Quran. Can it be read in English? Translator's words. It can't be read in English. Do you know about language? Do you understand eh? what I'm saying? Do you know about language? Whenever you say anything and they can't answer, do you know about oh, language? it's not in Arabic. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Do, do you know Arabic? I'm just asking you a question. I don't need to. Okay, do you know the grammar of Arabic? Because you're, you're expert in translation. Do you know the grammar of Arabic? No, I don't need to. You don't need to, okay. No. So, when, I'm in, I'm when, in when, when there are translations that don't use the word beat in there, why don't you take those translations? So, they disagree with each other. Absolutely. Ah, yes. oh, the translators. Disagrees. Don't use the words, sorry. The, the Quran disagrees with each other in different translations. You have. You have. The difference with us is that we have the original Arabic. Well, translate it into English. Right? What does it mean? The, the, word, the, 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 the word beat can mean. What does it mean? Well, the, me word, the word beat in Arabic that is mean? used. Let me just explain something. First of all, one sentence. What does it mean? A toothbrush? A tap? You don't have to go round and round. You ask me a question. I want a soundbite. You, 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 you ask me a question. Lenders. I want a soundbite. One you sentence. You, you ask me a question. You want either in a yes or a no. Yes, or I you do. want it in a one sentence? Yes. Is that how everything can be answered? No, it can't be here. Why? Why? Because my questions are simple. The answers may not be. You can't even pray with a woman in the mosque. There's something else. So we're moving on to another topic. Yeah, we're covering lots. Okay. So why go. can't you pay with a woman this that decided you're in the, the mosque? I'll tell you why. Because you think every man is a sexual predator. True. You do. They were wrong as well. They were wrong. If a woman why can't you pay with a woman in the mosque? If a woman bows in front of you, yeah. right in front of you, she's in black. I'm asking you an honest question now. Where would your eyes go? Well, look, they'd be closed. We're closed when we pray. Where would your eyes go? I close my eyes when I pray. Any man with any testosterone in his body, 
get, get a grip on yourself. Most, most men. Yes, I'm control saying. yourself. But most men. You're insecure. You've they got know a problem. where the will go. You've got a problem. But you don't want to be honest about that. You've got a problem. Islam is about being honest. And it's about being practical. A woman bowing right in front of a man, Allah knows that we are weak and that our eyes will go in places where they're not supposed to go. And the very essence of the prayer, which is to have the concentration you should be ashamed of yourself. and the connection with Allah. When you're praying to Allah, you're looking at a woman. So, for her own, so it means a so woman is more powerful than Allah. A woman is more powerful than Allah. She can take your eyes off Allah. I'm going to end the discussion here. It was a very nice meeting. A woman is more powerful than lovely, Allah. Lovely meeting. Okay. Right. Was it? Well, they decided. Right.